this will be a recording uh, based on how to do your study plan, practice, and quiz me for our Math 100 classes. So we're going to go to a browser. I think I'll use Mozilla. And you'll note up here that I do have a shortcut for MATLAB. So I'll click on that. And again, if you ever have to get to it, it's course compass, one word typed in here, will bring you to this site. Click on sign in. And you put in your username and password. It's remembering mine. So I click on that. And at UB, I'm teaching section 13, 14, and 15. And notice that there are, uh, this is 18, excuse me. There are four students in this class and six who have already signed up. But if I click on this class, what it will show you when we get to study plan is my study plan. This is work that I did actually over Christmas and it carries on. It says that I have all of my mastery points. Now what does that look like? Well if I click here, these are the chapters we're going to be covering in Math 100. And there are six sections in Chapter 1, four in Chapter 2, three, one, and six again. So we don't have many sections to cover, but we do have some pretty intensive work. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to do one section per class. So the protocol would be for you to read over the online textbook and then perhaps listen to one of my videos if you like. I'll tell you about that. And uh, then once we attend the class or before if you feel comfortable, you start on what is called your study plan. Now, what I've done, it, uh, as I've set up another course, it's not our textbook because anytime I make a course with our textbook, all my study plan will be filled because I've done them already. So I've picked on another book And when I go to that study plan, I click on it. And this is the sort of screen you will be coming into. Notice it says Topic 1.1. Now, this isn't your exact study plan, but it's going to be similar because it will have uh, practice and quiz me's. Practice and quiz me. Practice and quiz me. Now, I'm going to click on View Progress. And here it says I've only mastered two out of 660. Well, this is a full textbook. But notice, I did the orientation that we don't have in our course. And I've started on chapter one. Now, when you see a dark blue purple color, this indicates that I have done the quiz me's, and that's where I've earned these mastery points. And then in chapter one, I've done one of the quiz me's, and I've done all of the practice in one of the sections. The light blue indicates I've done practice but not the quiz me. 
So I just wanted to show it to you. Now remember, in our chapter one, we're only doing six sections. In our chapter two, we're doing four. Chapter three, we're doing three. Four, we're doing one. And five, we're doing six. This is not our work. It's something I'm using to show you how it's done. So let's get back to our study plan. And I've done <clears throat> all the practice. Now, what does practice look like? Well, I'm going to take you to this one here. Because since I've done them all, this is not active anymore. So this one is. So I click on that. And it's showing it to me, I believe, in a second window that I had to open. All right, so this is where we do our practice. And notice there's only four examples. They're asking us to determine whether 26 is a solution for this equation. So I add 26 to 18, and do I get 44? And I'm going to say yes. And then I go down here to check my answer, and it says, oh, you have it right. OK, click on that. I can then go to question two, and it says, is 30 a solution? Well, x minus 30, I'm sorry, x minus 17, which is, I'll get it here in a minute, x, which is 30, minus 14, does that equal 17? I don't think so, but I'm going to say yes, and then I click on check my answer. And I was correct. I didn't think that was the answer. And you probably know it wasn't. So that's not so. So I'm going to click Done. Now notice up here it's given me a red X, indicating that I have a wrong practice. Well, I don't like that. But it does allow you to do a similar exercise. If I click on it down here, there is another one. Now let's see if I get this one, 25. 25 minus 12, does that equal 11? No. So now I check it, and I have it correct. And notice now my red X has gone from red to a green check. Let's try another. Now is 56 a solution for this? 56 divided by 8, is that 7? Well, the answer is yes. But suppose I needed help on this one. What can I do? Well, I can go over here where it says, help me solve this. Now, when I click on this button, and I, I'll do it anyway, it's showing you some examples. Notice, I have to put the 56 in there. It's asking me to input stuff. So I put the 56, and then I check my answer, and it's helped me. So I'm going to close this. Now, what's the difference with the next one? Well, if I said view an example, and I'll click on that, it's going to show you that 60 is already put there. I didn't have to enter anything. It takes me through a complete solution. Now, if I wanted to look at the textbook pages, I could click on textbook. And there's the textbook coming up. And I click on this arrow to bring me to the next pages. And I would be looking for something that is on my particular topic. OK, so that's the textbook. And theoretically, you should read that textbook before you come to class. Now, sometimes here, there might be a short video that you can check on. 
or there's an animation that you might have. Or you can, well, don't use this often. Ask my instructor. Normally, keep your uh, questions for class. And you may recall that I'm stressing the idea of a homework log in which you write these down. Because at the end of the term, a homework log in which you've written these down, and it's neat and orderly, can earn up to two extra points on your end of term grade. So I'm going to close this. And now I'm going to go to the quiz me. Now I've done the practice. I'm going to do the quiz me. Now the difference between a quiz me and practice is that when I put an answer in here, I have to input all of the answers. And I don't get to see the results until I finish. So 9 less than B. Well, that's going to be B minus 9. Now, when I go to the next question, it doesn't allow me to go back. Here, it's 39 increased by N. 39 increased by N. And since you haven't seen them, these were some of the same questions I had in the practice. Four times the difference of two numbers. Well, four times this is the difference of two numbers. Now, the numbers were changed in the practice, but it's a sister of these. Now, I'm going on. Notice I can't go back now. A quotient. Now, for a quotient, it simply means a fraction. So it's Z over Q. This is the quotient of Z and Q. Now, these are some of the things you pick up as you need to move on. And then now, translate into an algebraic expression. The product of 3. So here we have to show multiplication. So 3, I go over here and pick up the multiplication sign. 3 times 10x. And I look carefully at my answers to check them before I submit. But I'm ready. And lo and behold, I got them all right. So now when I go to my study plan and I look at my view progress, notice I've earned another mastery point. I'm up to three. And my light blue section of practice has been changed to a dark blue purple for mastery. Now, when you do your study plan, you don't always have to do practice. If you feel comfortable, you can go directly to the quiz me. But I want to show you this. I'm purposefully now going to put in all wrong answers. Well, let's see if I'm going to just say no. I'm going to say no to everything. Now, I'm maybe lucky. I, ho I hope I'm not too lucky. I'm just saying no to everything. Oop. I want to say no to everything. Now, this one only had four questions. And fortunately, I got them all wrong. I didn't look at the questions. I just put in all no's. And they happen to be all yeses. Now, watch what happens when I go to the study plan. Notice the practice is active, but the quiz me is not. So what happens if you don't earn 75% mastery on your quiz? That is, usually can miss one. If you don't earn that, then you have to go back and do a practice. Now, if I do one practice 
And let's see, it didn't open yet. Okay, there it is. And I want to know if 22 is a solution. Well, 22, and I think that's going to be no. So I got that one right. Now, watch what happens. I'm going to close this. And notice now I've got one correct on practice. The quiz me box is now activated and I can work it. Now in math 100, part of your grading is how well you do on your quiz me's. So I'm going to go back here to our section because it's unique to our class. When you look at your study plan and view progress, if at the time we take the test on chapter one, you have all of chapter one dark blue, that will be 100% on your study plan and whatever paper tests you get, the score on your paper test, I will average that with your study plan. So this term, I'm going very, very strongly to having your study plan complete by test day. So this is going to be two weeks, three weeks of classes, then we'll have a test. Two weeks of classes, then we'll have a test. Th uh, a week and a half of classes, and then a test. Now we spend a whole week on chapter four, and then three weeks on chapter five, and then a test. So this is what's going to determine your grading. Testing in your Quizmes are 60% of your grade. So you need to really make that commitment up front to have your practice in Quizmes up to 100% or the best you can do on it. That will prepare you to do well on the test. And then I'm going to average your Quizme grades into your test grades as well. So that's something new. It's very critical. You never want to not have your practice and quiz me's done, your study plan done, before we test. This is an important part of your grading in your Math 100 course. And by keeping a good homework log at the end of the term I will look at them and you could be awarded up to two points a good one gets two points if you have a medium or poor one you may get one point and again neatness orderliness and a very useful thing all right we'll wrap this up I think we've covered all our topics